What's good everybody? We're gonna be making a Yeet type beat for his new album. My top three songs from him is Seven Nights, Myself, and Type of Melody. So yeah, we're gonna be making a split mix with Seven Nights type of beat. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, for the first track, yeah, it's pretty simple, but uh, I'll show it to you guys first and I'll explain it. <laughs> All right, so pretty much what we did right here, we added a triad chord, two half beat triad chord, as you can tell, right here. And I made these notes like arpeggiated, just cause like Yeet's melodies have like an arpeggiated type of like thing. So it's just like an arpeggiated chord. All I did was create a triad chord, deleted the, the second one, then I moved this one to the right, and you know, after that, then I added on that right here. But other than that, this and this is copy and paste. And to make these notes that I did right there, all I did was pretty much just duplicate it. One, two, three, four, five semi notes semitones down semitones is one note one note down by the way so y'all know oh by the way if you guys don't know how to make a triad chord it's pretty simple yeah we're in e minor by the way and we're on 146 bpm the range goes around 130 to like 150 for these type of beats you know it, it, it's just like it's just fast energy type of uh bpms but yeah create a triad chord pretty simple you go one two three semitones one two three four semitones and that's it that's a triad chord right there so yeah i deleted the second note from the triad chord and just slide it through and yeah build off of that over here on this e you can see there's like a triangle all i did was just have a slide note effect as you can see right here on this i made the f sharp note like twice as long so it could slide to this note right here and it had like a cool effect so yeah pretty much the same crap right here copy and paste copy and paste and like these two notes i just built up extra upon all right and then with these bass notes as you can see right here all i did was just pretty much use the same bass notes as the bottom uh triad chord and just put them an octave lower one octave lower and then duplicate it duplicate it duplicate it. same right here same goes for right here and b i just put it an octave down and then duplicate it except for these two right here i just added like a little tiny little flare you feel me so yeah everything else is just it's just a two bar loop copy and paste copy and paste copy and paste and then for the mixer part of it all i pretty much did was add some shaper box bit crusher and then some drive to it uh and then i added a portal from this bank right here all right pretty much uh for the next track i'm just gonna explain it real quick because it's pretty simple as you can see just every bar this is a e and this is a b from the other notes those were the original root notes of those and so every like bar every whole bar i just added a note a note a note a note a note a note just to add texture to the to the track from before For the mixer part of it, all I did was uh, did vin Vintage Valhalla Reverb on it and then some EQ and that's it. All right, for the next track, this is the last like thing of the part of the melody. It's a simple like um, eight bar loop melody. So yeah, I just pretty much added a, a lead. I just pretty much created a beat, like a beat note, every beat note and just, you know, played with it until like, you know, I found a rhythm. And over here, these are like one half beats uh, notes right here. And you know, it just made it just made sense, if you feel me. I just clicked until I, like, I, I found a rhythm. And then it's just copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. All right, so that's it with the melody. And now we're gonna get to the drums. It's pretty simple, it's just a simple clap. I'm gonna show you guys the clap. But yeah, it's just simple. I just added like these three little notes right here at the end. And yeah, just nothing crazy. All right, so the next thing I added was just simple hi-hats for the album, for the whole album. Uh, unlike his other albums, like they have crazy hi-hats, but this album didn't have like any like crazy hi-hats. They were just like basic hi-hat pattern. So yeah, I didn't add anything crazy. Let me show you guys real quick. All right, and then the next thing I added was just a simple like hi hat, another hi hat pattern, just under under the, the triple hat like little pattern right here. So yeah, these are just pretty much the same as like the originals from right here, as you can tell. So yeah.
All right, for the next thing, I just added some 808s. So the 808s is pretty simple, hella simple. This is kind of like the same pattern I got from Schmuck, I think. I added like a little pattern right here, as you can see right here, like a little vi variety right there. And then also right here, I, asked, I added like another note and a variety over here. This note from here, it's just a higher octave up, simple. And then this note right here is just like for it to slide back down to like the root note. All right, and then the last thing I added was a simple open hat and that's it. All right, now we're done with the B. I'm gonna show you guys the arrangement. So with the arrangement, I just made a 12 bar three hook hook in the beginning. And then this is the verse right here, 16 bars right here. And then just copied and paste, copied and paste. Anyways, that's it for everything. Hope you guys like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you guys later. Peace.